before I start this video, what I'm gonna say is, this is going to be like my last breakdown. The next few tutorials I make, they're all gonna be live quick ups, and majority of them are gonna have no mic, so you're not gonna hear me for a while. But if you don't like that and you want the breakdowns, let me know in the comments and I'll just do them again. You always saying guys, it's Hate Z here. Today man's gonna show you how to make samples for 808, Mellow, Rixon and Ty once again. So let's get straight into it. Uh, so this is gonna be like a part two. It's not the exact same sample obviously, but it's a, it's a sample in that style. So yeah, before I break down like everything, the mixing, how I made the Mellow, etc. I'm literally just gonna play the final sample, so here it is. Alright, so the first thing I did was I added this, um, I don't even remember what it is, but uh, it's this uh, short spiccato from Spitfire Studio Strings. Spitfire is probably, in my opinion, the best like, VST for orchestral and like, realistic sound and stuff. Uh, so yeah, um, what I added on the melody was a EQ, got some low reverb. Kind of, I, di I didn't do like this, I literally just... Uh, did that, I think it was like 50%? Yeah, like that. And then I added a RC20 with just magnetic and cut a little like cut, I don't know. But yeah. After that, I added the top line, which in my opinion is probably the best part of the melody. And so what I used for this was Balkan Ethnic Orchestra. Greatest, greatest VST ever in my opinion for orchestra stuff. And yeah, I just turned this this hall to like my study on, kept all this on, added reverb as well, and this is what it sounds like. And so yeah, what I added on this was a simple EQ once again, a reverb, this time I tend to dry down to 70%, and then an RC20 with nothing on it that's special and yeah after that i added a, cho um, a chorus after that I, I did a choir a storm choir i don't know who this is by but yeah and i literally just added reverb i think and yeah this is what it sounds like And so what I added on this was just EQ because I was thinking of adding the reverb but this is what it really sounds like. Sounds too um what's the word? It sounds too it sounds too like in the back. It just it's it's just I want it like front. I want it like in front of the whole mellow and shit. I then want it like very distant, very like ambient. I want it to like straight in front, hard hitting. So when the drums come on, it's hard hitting. I just wanted, I just didn't want it to be ambient overall. But yeah, so after that, I think I literally just stemmed it out. Instead of doing like this, what I like to do, instead of doing like, instead of having like everything at once, I just split it up into two so it doesn't sound over crammed. And obviously the person who's making a the beat, they can like use this or they can use this, whatever they want. And after that, I left the gap, stemmed it out, exported it, you already know. Press this and then it can um, Alt R and then after that, press it down by 200 cents and now it sounds like this.
Alright guys, that's how you make the sample. If you want like a part three, like you want me to turn this into a series, let me know in the comments. I'll for sure do that. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, do your thing man. Peace.